Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich made his first public appearance in a Moscow courtroom Tuesday after being arrested nearly three weeks ago on espionage charges. The 31-year-old reporter asked to be detained under house arrest while awaiting trial, but the judge ruled that he must remain in jail. Gershkovich's Russian lawyer spoke to reporters after the hearing. He would like to uh, prove that he is non guilty and uh, he would like to prove that there is place for uh, freedom of uh, journalistic. U.S. Ambassador to Russia Lynn Tracy spoke to reporters after the hearing. I can only say how troubling it was to see Evan, an innocent journalist, held in these circumstances. I was able to meet Evan yesterday at La Fort of a prison. It was the first time we were granted consular access since his wrongful detention more than two weeks ago. I can report that he is in good health and remains strong despite his circumstances. We will continue to provide all appropriate support to Evan and his family, and we expect Russian authorities to provide continued consular access to Evan. The charges against Evan are baseless, and we call on the Russian Federation to immediately release him. Russia claims, without producing evidence, that Gershkovich was caught red-handed while spying, collecting what it claimed were state secrets about a military-industrial complex. The Wall Street Journal and the U.S. government have rejected the charge of espionage, which, if he were to be convicted, carries a sentence of up to 20 years in prison. The U.S. State Department last week declared that Gershkovich is wrongfully detained. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre condemned the Moscow court ruling and also called for the immediate release of U.S. citizen Paul Whelan, whom the U.S. has also designated as wrongfully detained. Look, we are, we are deeply concerned. Uh, by the news that Russia will continue to wrongfully detain Evan uh, following a sham judicial uh, proceeding today. And that's what we saw uh, earlier today. The Biden-Harris administration is engaging with Russia through uh, every available channel to bring Evan and uh, fellow American Paul uh, Whelan home, who is also a, a priority for us. I am innocent of any charge resulting from this potential kidnapping. Former U.S. Marine Paul Whelan has been held in Russia for more than four years. The U.S. says both Gershkovich and Whelan deserve to go home to their families. Cindy Sane, VOA News.